In this video, we're going to go over a few different options for stitch erasers you can use when your embroidery projects go wrong. Well, if you own an embroidery machine, you know you're bound to make mistakes, and that's okay, mistakes happen, but when you make a mistake on a finished item that is potentially costly, that's when you get concerned, and you wanna to try to remove those stitches without ruining the item. Now, the purpose of this video is to go over items which we can use to remove embroidery stitches, kind of from the least expensive to the most expensive, and see if there really is a difference along this range. So the items in front of me are what we're gonna to try to use to remove stitches, and I did come up with a couple of different tests to see how these behave. First off is going to be just some satin stitches and we'll see how each of these perform with satin stitches but we know that embroidery designs usually have more than one stitch type in place so I made sure I did some samples of a design that has a fill stitch, a satin stitch and a run stitch so we can see how they all perform in a fair and realistic environment. Now the first one we're going to try is this one which we actually uh, had someone in our Facebook group say that they used a eyebrow groomer trimmer. I, I've never used one of these for its purpose but I thought that's a really great idea and we're going to give this a shot and see just how it works because for a $7 purchase that would be a dream come true. Now the next one we're gonna try is a battery operated unit which is made by Wall and it's actually a Pet Pocket Pro trimmer. So we're gonna see how the teeth on this little unit will react with stitches. And again, for a $13 item, this could be a very good contender with something that's affordable if it works. Now the next one we're gonna try is another battery operated unit and this is about $24 and it is an electric seam ripper made by Galaxy. There's tons of different options available online, but I just chose this one because it had the best reviews. This one is geared for removing thread and stitches, so we'll see how it does comparatively to the pet remover and see if doubling the price makes that much of a difference. Now the next one probably intrigues me the most because it is a wall peanut, and this is about a $52 item, and it actually is identical to the Peggy Stitch Eraser, which is the one that most people use in our industry. It is the exact same shape, and as far as the model number on the unit is concerned, they're identical. Now I'm sure the teeth might be a little bit different, and I did see that you could get fine blades to replace for this model, uh, but it was a little bit hard to find, so I'm not sure once you kind of price out the unit and then getting the extra a blade on top of it if you're really going to be saving that much money but I'm interested to see how it performs as is coming out of the box. Now then we have our Peggy Stitch Eraser and the Stitch Eraser by Peggy's does come in a corded and cordless model which you can obviously recharge the cordless model. I personally prefer the corded model because it is less expensive in price point, and it's a little smaller to handle. Now, Peggy and I have had a relationship going on over 25 years. We use these commercially in our factory, you know, two and a half decades ago when we had embroidery go bad. Now, this one I'm gonna show you how it works, and we're gonna see how it compares to all of the others. Now, I do wanna mention right off the bat that when you are using a stitch eraser of any kind, you're always going to remove the stitches from the back not the front and you want to keep your stabilizer on the item don't remove your stabilizer or cut it out it really helps if you have it still in the hoop if at all possible with the stabilizer intact now what you're going to do is you're always going to run the blade of the stitch eraser the opposite direction of the stitches that you see so if my stitches are going this direction I want to make sure that my blade is going the opposite direction but remember once you get rid of those visual stitches that you can see if it is a satin or a fill stitches there's always underlay running the opposite direction so with my stitch eraser I'm usually going the direction opposite the stitches first and once I see that I've gone through that layer then I'll move the direction of the stitch eraser so that I remove some of the underlay now the other thing is I do not like using any of these on a flat surface don't put it on a table and start erasing on the table. I usually will always hold my item and I'll put my finger underneath and I will use my finger as a pressure gauge with the reaction of the blade onto the stitches. 
I don't want to push too hard because you can, with most of these products, very quickly go through the stitches, through the stabilizer, and through the material, and then there's no hope of saving the item. It's more of a loving approach where you're kind of softly going back and forth. And what I usually look for as I'm doing that is I look for fluff to appear. Meaning that when I get through the stitches, the first thing I should hit is the stabilizer. So as I'm removing stitches, when I see little fluffy pieces of white, because I'm using white stabilizer, appear, that means that I've gone through that first layer and I really need to be careful that I don't start pressing hard because I don't want to cut through the material. So we'll just remove these from their packages and then I'll test each one starting out with a very simple satin stitch and then we'll move on to this design here that has all three stitch types. And you'll be able to see how each one of them performs. Now I will be honest with you, if at some point I get beyond frustrated, I am gonna tap out and just leave it as it stands.
Now we finished removing all of the stitches and as expected, some of them performed better than others. Now with regards to the satin stitches, they all worked pretty well. And the winner was the peanut at 43 seconds. Now, funny enough, this one here actually did quite well for removing a satin stitch. It was easy to use. And as I'll show you with the other one, it isn't my favorite by far, but I would suggest having some of these on hand for some very quick, easy things for removal. These can be pretty handy. But on the flip side, with regards to removing all of the embroidery, I did have to tap out on this one. It just, there was no way I was going to get all the fill stitches off. And I pretty much gave up with regards to removing an entire design using this piece of equipment. Now the next one on our list surprised me because it was the second most affordable, but it did a pretty good job. It actually ranked third with regards to removing all of the stitches from the fabric and it did a perfect job. I was able to get everything out of there and with no damages whatsoever. Keep in mind that the teeth are a little bit wider than the Piggy Stitch Eraser. So that means that you have to make sure that you have a very you know, soft touch as you're removing the stitches from the back so you actually don't cut through the stabilizer and then the material. Now keep in mind, I have been erasing stitches for decades. Commercially, if we had a 24 head machine and something went wrong, we had to try to save those garments. So I do know that there is a little bit of a technique involved in making sure that you get rid of all the stitches without damaging the actual garment. But this one, it was a win as far as I was concerned because it actually did a great job for the price point. Now the Galaxy was also battery operated and it was more expensive than the wall. And this was personally my least favorite out of all of the units that I tried. It just didn't seem to remove the stitches aggressively enough. It almost floated on top of the back of the stitches. And I was able to remove all the stitches, but it took longer than all the others. And it just didn't feel as smooth with working on the back side of the design. Now the next one is the Wall Peanut, which is the same model number as my Peggy Stitch Eraser. And I know that the teeth are a little bit wider, so I did have to take that sensitive approach to removing the stitches, and it was a real feel, but it actually performed incredibly well. It was the fastest for removing both the satin stitches as well as the design. So surprisingly, this one was my favorite as far as usability and actually getting the job done quickly. And lastly, we have the Peggy Stitch Eraser, which I know have finer teeth that are geared for actual embroidery designs. If you are relatively new at trying to remove stitches, this one probably is the safest bet because it does take a lot more force to actually go through the stitches, the stabilizer, and the garment itself. If you're using the peanut, unless you really kind of have practice and know what you're doing, you can very easily put a hole in your garment. But once you get used to it, I think I think the peanut by far is a quicker tool to use and you get the same results. I was able to get rid of all the stitches with the Peggy Stitch Eraser and there was no flaws. The only difference was it took a little bit longer than using the wall, which is essentially the same device, but I feel the blade is a little bit finer on the Stitch Eraser for Peggy's and a little bit wider for the wall peanut. So what's my final verdict? Well, I have a tie as far as the least favorite and it would be between the Galaxy and and this one right here but in fairness I would like to have a few of these on hand because for removing satin stitches this is pretty quick and easy and it's obviously cost effective this one not a big fan I don't think I'd be using this to remove actual embroidery stitches now this one is a winner as far as I'm concerned because it is very reasonably priced. If you're looking for something just to get rid of stitches quickly and you know you don't make many mistakes, you're gonna be fine with one of these and they're just good to have on hand. Keep in mind that they are operated by battery. So as the battery probably starts to get drained, it might affect the speed in which the blade runs. Now between these two, I've been a you know, a fan of Peggy's for decades and I do love my Peggy Stitch Eraser. I'll continue to use it, but now that I've tried the Wall Peanut, I think I prefer this one because price point, it is more reasonable and I was able to do the job quicker as far as getting rid of the stitches is concerned. But again, it takes a little bit of a loving approach so that you don't damage the actual garment that you're working with. 
So thanks for watching and let us know which is your favorite in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in finding out more information about any of these products, just check out the links in the description below.